Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be unboxing a brand new fan which is an, a KDK actually it's a KDK and it's an inverter fan it's the S409N now um, why did I buy this well first of all I wanted to try inverter and second the house got renovated and STX almost died no, no seriously it, it, it almost died but uh, uh, aside from that, I pretty much restored the whole thing again, and now I decided, yeah, it has to retire. Um, <laughs> and I can't see that. E even the uh, SLM is kind of dirty right now, but uh, yeah, I just restored that. <laughs> so yeah, I might retire this and the SLM, and uh, yeah. So I'm moving this to my room because uh, my room has the STP which almost never turns off. So that is the highest consuming fan here because it never turns off. If we replace it with a 30 watt inverter fan, well, yeah, that's gonna go a little lower. But yeah, then, then the STP will take the STX's place. And then this guy is gonna be swapped out with the uh, MX408 since it's not a Philippine model. So yeah, I guess we should get started with the unboxing. So. This is a uh, 2023 model, made in October 2023. Get, get it, get it, destroy it. Um, yeah, let's go unbox this thing. Hopefully it can even cut it. So, yeah, it can cut. So. I'm gonna be placing the STX in this box afterwards, so yeah, we're basically swapping them out. STX is now a retired man, he's been running for 24 years, and the uh, oh my god, why is it like this? Oh, uh, yeah, oh god damn it. It's gonna ruin the box. So I took out some of the plastics like this. Um, let's continue with the assembly of this. So you take out this thing, and then you take out the pipe holder to get this plastic off the pipe. Some people don't do it, but I do. So yeah, you unsleeve this. That's the pipe cover, basically. You put this back. And then, yeah, you basically just do that. But honestly, I would probably prefer that we remove that thing first before we put it back. So, yeah, this is gonna be a longer video. Oh wait, you have to remove that too. Fine. I'll, I'll just not remove it then, idiots. Um, let's take out the blade from the blade part. Why is it tied up, Ryan? Wait, it's not tied up, it's actually um, sealed in. This is the uh, blade cap, which is tied up. Get it out, get it out. There we go. That's the blade cap thing. Now we have both stuff. Um, this, this is the blade thing. I don't know if I can actually use it on the STX blade because that's big. Here's the rear grill, which is weird. It's just a flat 
rear grill. The front grill is the one that gives this thing shape, honestly. Which I thought it was the back grill that gave it shape. No, no, it's the front grill. Um, it's not like the uh, the 405 series where the back grill is actually the one that shapes. No, it's it's different. It's the uh, it's the very very thick ring lock that apparently shapes this thing. This is gonna get scratched. It's already scratched up. It's brand new. Okay. Now we got everything out, it's time to assemble it, which is our first step is this base, which apparently doesn't have wheels. Why did you call this a stand fan? It's a pedestal fan. Ah oh, man, and then they call the living fans living fans because they're not adjustable. They're just pedestal fans that aren't adjustable. Man, companies these days, they can't even offer wheels. Why? The SF40V has wheels, you idiot. I guess the S for the 405S series doesn't have wheels either, just by judging from this. So, like, why? Like, seriously. I think that's the backside, it's marked. So that's the backside. Wait, no, it's not the backside. Wait, so the square of the pipe isn't exact. Oh, so, so this is the backside. It's like that. Why is it a diamond? Why? Whatever, it fits exactly there, so it's fine. I like the design, it's very flush. Like, you can actually just seal this up here. So, it, this, this has a high chance of not rusting at all. So, now we have to take this body and, uh, well, uh, uh, put it on here, like the SF40V, and then um, just place that screw in there at the back side over there. That's where I placed it, and then tighten it up like this. Oh god. Come on. Tighten it up, you idiot. Where? Uh, man, technical difficulties. And the tensioner on this is completely hard. So, yeah, this is our speed control. This is max to min. This is our timer. Basically the same as the STX. It's a different design timer. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, I've been running this for an hour. Um, so yeah, this is the S409N for you. To install the rear grill on this familiar looking front motor cover, which we will not speak of unspeakable things. There we go. The girl shape's pretty weird. And yeah, that's what I get for buying a new fan. Designs are weird now. Okay, wait, I think this is tight enough. Okay, and then let's endow it with the blade, which is the top. This is PP plastic. This is the top. Turn the shaft. That is the top part. Oh wow, this is quite tight. There we go. And then just place it on here, like so. This is a pretty weird fan. And now, <laughs> time to install the front grill, which is incredibly thick. Make sure you align the back with the grill because this won't snap in if you do anything else. Unsnap the bottom and then, honestly, I'm pretty new to this. Okay, 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 okay. And why is it not aligned? I install it correctly, I probably didn't. Okay. Eventually figured it out. You don't exactly have to align it because the KDK logo is this way and they installed the grill sideways for some reason instead of like straight up over here. And the front grill is actually pretty hard to disalign with the, uh, the, uh, the ring. So yeah, I guess I have to deal with that because I don't want to break this, it's brand new. So yeah, I guess I'll have to deal with this slightly slanted grill for a while. So 
Yeah. So yeah, here it is. It's uh, done assembling. So yeah, let's see if it works. Yep, it works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.